What seems to be a busy highway during the day, Skeed Road becomes dark and vacant at night. 18-year-old Kayla Belair was walking home after watching a late movie in town when she heard what sounded like an ATV plowing through the bushes. I heard something from the bush that was really, really loud. And uh, I seen a huge bear. It started like, it was like running at me. So once I seen the bear and knew for sure it was a bear, I kind of just looked to the traffic and made sure, okay, someone stop, <laughs> please. Luckily for Kayla, a family happened to be driving by at that exact moment. Well, they said that they seen the bear. I don't really remember. I just, they drove me home. They walked me inside the house and tried to explain it to my parents. It was about uh, 10, 30, quarter to 11 at night, and uh, as soon as she came in, we were, it was this the most alarming sound, this crying and, and hysterical behavior. We didn't know what had happened at first. The gentleman who, who rescued her from the bear came in as well, and he explained a little bit more. But from Kayla herself, she, it was just so shocking and so frightening that uh, it took a little bit of time to, to get that information. Afterwards, the family heard that a cub was killed along that stretch of road earlier that night. They believe the angry black bear may have been its mother. But Belair believes a number of factors also contributed to the incident. Sundays, uh, the bus service doesn't extend down our road. We live on Skeed Road and it uh, doesn't come down this way. So the bus stop ends at the corner of Falcon Bridge and Skeed Road, which is quite a distance. Another contributing factor, I think, is that you know the Ministry of Natural Resources really doesn't have the resources necessary to manage this big bear population, which of course we've been left with by uh, the cancellation of that spring bear hunt. So all those three mitigating factors contributed to this, I think. And although the Belairs thank the family that rescued their daughter that night, they don't know who they are or where they're from. We didn't catch the names. We don't know whether they were from out of town, whether they were from the area. Uh, something that I really regret because, you know, although I thanked the man when he dropped her off, I didn't thank him enough because as the full impact of this hit me, uh, he deserves a lot more thanks than, than I gave him that night. And, you know, if he's watching this, I'd really like to thank him, you know, from the bottom of my heart. I know my wife feels the same way for, you know, being there at the right place at the right time to, you know, uh, get Kale out of that situation.